What's up guys, this is Daybreak748 and once again it is about time to get started with this figure review and today we'll be taking a look at SH Figuarts Vegito. Now guys, if you don't know anything about this character then you probably haven't watched the Dragon Ball Z series and if you did not know, uh, this series ended quite some time ago, and so I'm, it's not a spoiler. You should have seen it already. It is a fusion of... I'm going to give you 30 seconds. If you want to pause it and fast forward 30 seconds, by all means. It is the fusion of Goku and Vegeta. So guys, super excited. I never thought we would actually get this figure um, this soon. I thought we would get Gohan first, then... Um, for example, maybe Majin Buu, like the Fat Buu, etc. But no, we got Vegito straight off the bat, and I'm super excited for it. Guys, here we go. Standard packaging when it comes to the SH Figure Arts brand. You have the pixelated face of Vegito right here. You have all the different warning labels and the companies that sponsor this and all that good stuff all around the box here. Name right there. On the back you have many different poses and accessories that come with this Vegito figure. And on this side you have Vegito and a picture of Vegito down below. So guys, give me a sec. I'm going to take Vegito here out of package and we'll see what he has to offer. Be back guys. See you in a bit. And we are back. We have Vegito out of package and he is a pretty awesome looking figure. Now as you guys can probably tell this is pretty much a retool of or a reuse of the classic Goku mold that we've been using for pretty much every single reissue of Goku and the regular Goku and even the SDCC Goku that's coming out um, what in a couple of weeks so yeah we have seen this body forever now so not, eh, the body was okay but I feel like I'm kind of bored with this body because it's literally the same thing so if you have watched my review on the Goku figure um, may be the SDCC original Goku or the Power Down regular Sun Goku. It's the same thing. The Gohan is probably going to have the same exact body mold um, and Vegito here has the same exact mold as well. So nothing no out of the norm when it comes to um, articulation. Sculpting looks pretty good. There's some little gripes here where the muscle it looks a little weird. Um, but other than that, not a bad figure. Paint job is pretty good. Uh, the blue, the white has like a bluish hue to them, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, the orange is a ni nice dark orange, and the blues are just the basic blues. Now, uh, I guess the head can fully rotate if you wanted it to. Can look all the way down can't really look up due to the fact that his hair is very low on his head. Um, he does have a waist, uh, not a waist, a neck swivel built in right there. Um, you have these floating piece, I guess, sleeve pieces. And that is so that you can get him in some dynamic poses. And then you can maneuver this around so that it looks more fluid-like. Uh, the arms, standard arm for the... Goku body swivel here, double joint here, full rotation here, and can go in and out. So that's that. And obviously the, the hand could fully rotate. Um, he does have a waist swivel. He has a diaphragm joint which you can pop out and then you can push down so that you can get him in some more dyma dynamic poses. He does have that pull down feature like all the other SH Figure Arts DBZ figures has. He has the thigh swivel built in. The really annoying joint right here. This I had an issue with when it was the regular Goku, so it's the same joint. And then he has a, um, he has every pretty much articulation you could possibly ever want when it comes to the foot. Toe joint, ankle pivot, rocker, swivel, built in, you name it, 
he has it all. So that is pretty much it with the Goku figure. Or I want to call him Goku, but no, this is the Vegito figure. Sculpting on the hair, love it. I really think they did an amazing job with this. Um, I love it in black. So that looks pretty freaking epic. Uh, the earrings, for such a small little detail, is done quite nicely. The eyes are done nicely. Paint, like I said, is done quite nicely. All right, now, I'm doing things a little out of order, but it's fine. I'm gonna put Vegito here in the back for a sec. Show you his accessories. So he comes with another completely different hair piece and this is the Super Saiyan Vegito mode so there you go I like the color I like the shading I like everything about this you then to go along with that Super Saiyan hair get three different faces for the Super Saiyan hair you have this screaming face you have this smirking looking to the left face you have this very very stern face not happy and then you have one other face which is a screaming face uh, for the power down version so quite nice that they included all of that you also get with this Vegito figure the cross arm pose looks pretty good once again you can see that bluish hue in the gloves so that's pretty cool you get many different sets of hands actually no not many only, let's see, uh, six sets and one special hand. Um, or six pairs, or wow, three pairs. You get the closed fist pair right there. You get the fireball um, pair of hands right here. You get more like Kai Blast shooting hands here. And then you get this one random piece right there. And what is that for? It is for his blast effect piece. Now this was used, um, and this is actually really done nicely. I like how this looks, but yeah, he used this to pretty much pick up Majin Buu, and uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. So what you do with this is you take the hand, and you literally plug it into this hole, and you can kind of see there's a groove, and it'll go quite nicely in, just like that. Obviously, this is a heavier piece of plastic, so they made a peg hole right here. So if you have a base, which unfortunately they don't provide for you, if you do have one, you could plug it in here so you could help support, it can help support the weight. So there you go. All right. Um, head swapping, face swapping, all that stuff, very, very easy. Uh, all you need to do to show you the hair so, or the face swapping, I'll do it on the Super Saiyan face. Um, you take off the front hair piece. You take whatever face you like. I'm going to take this stern face. Line up the peg hole and the pegs. Just like that. And then you put the front hair piece back in. Just like that. And there you go. You have Vegito here with that stern face. Super simple. There is a little peg hole here, so what you would do is pull off the head, revealing the ball joint there, and push in the head there. All right, on to the hand swap, super easy. Literally pull off the hand and plug in the hand. That part is easy, so I'm not gonna really show that off, but I will show you guys how to swap out the, um, the arms for the cross arm pose. So you literally yank off the arms just like that. And you have to do that for this side as well. Take your time with these because you, yeah, you definitely don't want to break it. So there you go. Then what I like to do is I like to move the arms out just a tad bit so they're a little bit closer, just like that. You're gonna take the peg here, peg hole here, and you're gonna line it up. And this is really hard to do on camera because, yeah. All right, that's good. And then, all right, I think this part, nope, that's good. Wow, I was able to do it in one shot. So there you have it, guys. You have Vegito with the cross arm pose, which he is usually in because he's very cocky 
and that's something I do love about Vegito. He is he has Vegito's attitude, which is quite nice. So there you have it, guys. That is Vegito in a nutshell. Uh, I would highly recommend this figure to all of you if you are a DBZ fan. If you're not, then obviously it's a complete pass. But yeah, love the figure. Love how detailed it is, and. He looks pretty freaking amazing, and I'm sure he would look great in your DBZ collection as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, subscribe, and um, stick around, guys. I have more figure reviews coming up for you very, very soon. And until next time, this is Daybreak748. I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.